Welcome back everybody, I'm Michael Foley and in this video I'm going to teach you my top three tips for how to develop power in your lead hand hook. I see this time and time again, I teach martial arts professionally, so this is something that always comes up with beginners. The lead hand hook, it's always the hardest punch for new people to grasp. Unlike your straight punches, like your jab and your cross, those are driving punches. Your hook punch, it's a rotational punch. So it's a different type of body mechanic and that's where people tend to get tripped up. In this video, we're gonna break it down to the basic mechanics of the punch and build it from the ground up. I picked this drill up in 1992 from one of my first boxing coaches, a guy named Yuri Rusinov. He taught us this drill where you rotate by pushing your opposite foot to the side you're rotating. You push off the ball of that foot and shift your weight to the other foot. Now from here, what I'm doing is I'm pushing off my back foot, shifting my weight to my front foot. When my weight gets over that foot, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna push off my front foot, shift my weight to my back foot but I don't want my back foot to continue to point in this direction. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pivot that foot first. And then I pick this heel up on my front foot. And I'm gonna repeat that side to side, push off my back foot, pivot my front foot, shift my weight to my front foot, and then in reverse. So if you can get this drill down here, that's the basics of your footwork for this drill. Once you get that down, concentrate on rotating. Push off your trailing foot, rotate your weight to the other side, bend your knees a little bit and sit down. You're gonna keep your elbows in nice and tight. And then from here, get into the habit of turning over with your right hand when you're pushing off with your right foot. And then turning over with your left hand when you're pushing off with the left foot. We're gonna start with straights right now because it's easiest. So just from here. My second tip for the lead hand hook, it's once we've got the legs working in the proper way, we're gonna rotate our body. The big thing is with the lead hand hook is this is not an arm punch. You can throw like arm punch versions of this, but mostly it's gonna come from quick rotation of your core in the direction that the punch is going. So what I mean by that is if I push off with my front foot and shift my weight to my lead foot, I'm not just gonna rotate back and loop the punch off of my weight shifting from one foot to the other. What I wanna do as well is as I'm rotating through, I wanna pull with my core, rotate my shoulders, my front shoulder rotates forward, my back shoulder pulls back, and as that happens, I throw my punch. So let's quickly add those two elements together and I'll show you what it looks like from the side. So from here, I'm gonna start shifting my weight from foot to foot, turning over with my trailing foot. Then I wanna start adding punches to those here just quick little extensions, just to get my hands working in unison with my hips and my rotation. Once I have that down, I'm gonna load up my lead leg, turn my rear shoulder in, and as I start to do my motion for the hook, I'm gonna twist my core as hard and as fast as I can to my backside. Don't forget to pull back with your trailing shoulder as much as you're rotating with your lead shoulder. So there's a lot of debate about this online, how you should throw your punch. Should your knuckles be stacked vertically and your elbow a little bit lower? Should they be stacked horizontally and your elbow be a little bit higher? It depends on which one you prefer. Most often, especially in North America, you're gonna see this type of punch here. In Europe, you might see this one a little more often here. They're both good punches. I prefer actually to use both, but in different circumstances. And that has to do with range. I'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. For now, we're gonna start with this one here where my knuckles are stacked vertically and my elbows slightly lower. Now the big thing is with the left hook, to somebody who's new, what the punch looks like is me bringing my hand all the way back here and swinging across my opponent's face. It's less of a swing, a wild swing, and more of a tight rotation at the core. My arm only has to get in position right before it hits my opponent's head. So there's no real need to bring my hand all the way back to here, cock that punch, and loop it from here. Disclaimer, I've been in the film and television industry 14, 15 years now, and every single time I'm hired to throw a punch that looks like it's gonna hit an actor, but doesn't even come close. I know from firsthand experience, 
that punching in TV, punching in movies, is not the same as what you'd see a professional fighter do. For example, if I was to punch somebody in the face in a movie, instead of me throwing a proper hook, I would bring my hand way out here to the side and wipe it right across the front of my partner's face. I'm not actually gonna connect with them. I'm gonna miss their face, but probably about this much. And the camera angle is gonna do all the work. So don't use what you see on film as an example of how you should throw this punch in real life. With that said, a punch you would actually use in combat sports. What I wanna do is I want to load up my footwork. So shift my weight to my front leg, bring my back shoulder to the front and keep my elbow nice and tight. There's no real need to drop my fist and swing from here. I'm gonna keep that in nice and tight and I'm gonna start my rotation. And as I start my rotation, I'm gonna extend my hand a little bit to the side right here. It's not a big opening right here. I just wanna to start to extend it right here. And as I'm rotating further, I wanna concentrate on bringing my elbow up. When I bring my elbow up, my elbow lines up at the back of my knuckles. So when I make impact, my elbow, my knuckles, my forearm, all in one straight line, so that the impact of the punch, the power can dissipate down my arm and I can absorb that into my hand instead of breaking my wrist or my hand. So when we put it all together, it looks like this. I rotate, turn my rear shoulder forward. I start to rotate back. So I coil up my body and I'm gonna uncoil it here. I start to extend my fist. I'm gonna bring up my elbow. My shoulder is tight to my jaw. Now from here, I should be getting ready to make impact just as I'm pushing my weight off my front foot and transferring my weight to my back foot. Now from here, I swipe all the way through and then I pull with my core, rotate my shoulders, pull all the way through. Again, nice and slow. Quick one. Here's what it looks like on uh, our old friend Bob here. So I'm inside range. I push off my back foot, shift my weight to my front foot, and I'm gonna turn my rear shoulder in between me and my opponent. I push off my lead foot. I start to extend my hand right here, and then I'm gonna bring my elbow up so it lines up with my knuckles before I make impact on his jaw. Right at that moment, that's when I shift my weight from my front foot to my back foot and pull with my core. Now let's look at the range that you can fire your hook from. If I'm throwing my hook close, this distance here, then I'm gonna wanna stack my knuckles vertically and have my elbow slightly lower than my fist as I'm coming up on an angle this way. So in close, that's how I want my punch to connect. As I get further away, keeping my hand turned like this and extending my arm, my punch actually gets weaker because the bones no longer line up. So if I make impact here on Bob, it's basically an arm punch. Here's where throwing your hook with horizontally stacked knuckles or even turning it all the way over, that's where you can use those types of hooks. So a general rule that I teach is that the further your opponent is away from you, the more you wanna turn your knuckles over. Here's three examples. If I'm in close, like I slip my opponent's cross, I'm gonna throw my hook with vertically stacked knuckles, make impact here. If I'm a little further away and I slip, I'm gonna throw it with horizontally stacked knuckles here. And if I'm further away, I want less of a load up from here and my punch is gonna come out more like a jab and I'm gonna turn it over by rotating my shoulder in its socket and turning it over in this direction here. So it's basically, more of like a slap jab, but it's a long hook. And I'd follow that up with a cross. If you got anything out of this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm Michael Foley. I'll see you on the mats.